Biden versus Trump. We are now just 10 days away from the first presidential debate in this incredibly important election year. And now we know the ground rules that these two have just agreed to. The first presidential debate will be hosted by CNN next Thursday, June 27th at 9 p.m. Eastern. No, RFK Jr. did not qualify for this debate, and I'm going to explain why in a second. But first, I think the most important thing that both the Trump and Biden campaigns have agreed to is muted microphones. So according to the agreement, microphones will be muted throughout the debate, except they will be turned on for the candidate whose turn it is to speak. This will take away the opportunity for the candidates to talk over each other. Each candidate will be allowed two minutes to answer each question posed by the moderators. Those answers will be followed by one minute rebuttals and then another one minute response to the rebuttal. Plus there will be one extra minute allowed that can be used if necessary. There will be visible red lights when each candidate has exhausted his time. There will be no opening statement from either candidate, but each man will be allowed a two minute closing statement. The Biden and Trump campaigns have also agreed that this debate will be 90 minutes long with two commercial breaks and campaign staff cannot interact with their candidate during those commercial breaks. Both candidates have also agreed to appear at uniform podiums. Whether they stand at the left podium or the right podium will be determined by a coin flip. Each candidate will be given a pen, a notepad, and a bottle of water. There will be no props, no written notes allowed on stage. And there will be, of course, no studio audience. That may change for the other debate in September, but for this one, the Trump and Biden campaigns have both agreed that there should be no spectators in this audience. So why is RFK Jr. not going to be there? Well, he didn't meet all the requirements necessary. There are always a lot of requirements that candidates need to meet to appear on the stage. And yes, for this one, Kennedy does meet several of the constitutional requirements, the polling requirements. But in order to be on this stage, the candidate must also appear on a sufficient number of state ballots to reach the 270 electoral vote threshold to win the presidency. So far, Kennedy is only on the ballot in six states, which if he wins all six outright, that would only make him eligible for 89 electoral college votes. Anchors Jake Tapper and Dana Bash will serve as moderators, and you'll be able to watch this debate, of course, on CNN. But if you don't have a cable login, you can also stream the debate free on CNN.com.